let's not criminalize adolescents. When I was 13 or 14 years old, uh, my brothers and I, two of them, had come, up, had come up with a really in, ingenious way to pass some time on a lazy summer afternoon in West Palm Beach, Florida. We made a dozen water balloons, we put them in a box, we secreted ourselves behind a cabbage palm tree, and then we were going to lob these water balloons in the general direction of cars that would occasionally pass by a military trail where we lived. And this was very entertaining. For those of you who played softball with me, you'll know that usually we missed. Um, <laughs> But on one of the times, I nailed a car right on the side door panel, and we were exuberant, thought this was great, until the car stopped in the middle of the road, backed up, and a very tall, frightening-looking gentleman got out. He walked straight up, looked me in the eye, and flipped down his badge and said, son, you hit the wrong car. <laughs> and he marched us up to my father, told him what happened, and suffice it to say, that never happened again. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. Now, take that same factual circumstance and fact pattern and transfer it to today. It's a virtual certainty that we would have been arrested. Uh, we would have been charged with throwing a deadly missile at a conveyance, which I'm sure the legislature has turned into a second degree felony with enhanced penalties. We would have been thrown into the juvenile justice system. Our family would have been declared dysfunctional. The additional, the other four Negron children, the younger siblings, would have been uh, declared to be at additional risk due to their miscreant brothers, and they would have uh, been signed up for all sorts of wraparound services. I would still be explaining this on my Florida bar application, trying to get a license to practice law from the Board of Bar Examiners. There's a delicate balance here. We should not and we will not tolerate serious wrongdoing by young people but at the same time, let's not criminalize adolescents.